Okay, this tutorial will teach you how to program your Robotech speed controller for the brushless Q85 motors. Before you start, you will need to download a couple of things. Um, you'll need to download the Robo Run from the Robotech website, plus check your firmware. You might as well just download the latest firmware. In this case, we're doing the SBLs. Oops, so there they are, just there. So the 1360, so download that as well and just put them in a safe place. And then install your um, Robo Run. You also need a USB lead to connect to your speed controllers. So make sure you've got one of them handy. And the next thing to do is to run your Robo Run. So once the software is up and running, then you can power up your speed controller, which I'll just do now. and it will detect your speed controllers and will ask you if you want to load the information. I must point out as well, you, you need to have your um, your wiring done as well into your speed controllers, so make sure your motors are connected to your speed controllers, to both of them. This should also work for the new 2360 as well, uh, but I haven't got access to one of them at the moment. So uh, this, but this should, should help you. Okay, so once everything's loaded in, you can expand these and this has got various settings and what have you, um, which may not all mean things to you, but um, it might not all make sense, but I'll just hopefully help you with some of that. Also check your firmware, see what firmware you've got, which is down here. If that needs to be updated, then you click on whoops sorry you click on the console and you can update controller firmware via USB you click on that you you I won't do this but you lose connection um, and then you get another screen pop up you find the file and then you install the firm the new firmware so make sure your firmware is up to date once that's done you can proceed with the setup that I'm going to show you now so what we're going to do here is we're going to set the limits on the speed controller to be their their maximum and their lowest speed as well so the speed controller behaves correctly and the motors pull at the same rate so I've just powered up my transmitter now obviously you can, only, you can also only do one speed controller at a time so once you've done this then you connect to the other controller and repeat this. So what we do here is we go to run. The transmitter's now on. And what we're looking at here is we're looking at pin one, just up here. So oh, move the mouse out of the way so you can see it. So I will go to full speed, it's fully forward. And it's flicking between 1831, 1832. So just note that down. Note your neutral down, which is I would class that as 1530. And then I go to my into reverse, which is 1230, let's say, and then back to neutral. So once you've written them down, what you then need to do is go back to the configuration. It's a pulse input, expand that, and then it's on pin one. And then what you do is you click on the range. The data you've just got, you input into these here. So that means that if, if this was too low a number, even though you're on the, the lowest throttle position, it would still expect that there's more give in the controller. But there isn't. You need to set the limits so it knows which the maximum and the lowest limits are. And your neutral is obviously self-explanatory. That's handy to have as well. Once you've done that, just make sure you go over to here and save to controller and then once that's done you power down your droid, power down the speed controller, plug your USB in and repeat and that should help set up your Robotech SBL1360s.